Hey everyone, welcome back to The Designer Gamer. So I decided that for the next game we're going to play during the week is Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland, which is actually the GBA remake of the NES game Kirby, Kirby's Adventure. So it's fun, it's uh, colorful, and very much kawaii, and uh, <laughs> It uh, also has a little tooth to it. That's, I mean, it's not the hardest game, but it's not easy either. And there's a lot of things to unlock. And uh oh, <laughs> so we have the story here. Not really very important, but uh. Yeah, it's a nice background to the game. So let's just jump right in. So there's three safe slots. We're just going to be using one. Um, before we play the game, I like that there's a sound test. There's a little cute things going on here with Kirby as a DJ. <laughs> and you could select any track or play any sound effect. It's a nice addition. Anyway, um, there's also these sub games which I might talk about later, which is just mini games that we could play. Um, but let's just jump right into the game. Multiplayer? Okay, I don't remember what the multiplayer for this was, but uh, you need multiple packs for that, but we're not doing that. We're just playing the basic game. Okay. If you didn't already know, Kirby has a, f a few move sets. He could puff himself up and blow air. He could duck and inhale. Oh, he could also slide. Okay, so let's hop in. Ooh. And he could absorb people's powers, which was not in the first Kirby game. But, uh, and that replaces the inhalation. He has, oh, and he could also shoot stars. Some enemies have powers, and some don't. So this is more of a melee one. And if you press select, you drop the power that you have. So this is a nice uh, projectile one. So there are also always like these little Areas that you might that catch your attention that uh, make you realize that there's a secret. Okay. Yes, Kirby could fly. He seems a bit OP, but uh, I guess that's okay. They throw enough stuff at you that it kind of balances out. I think anyway. It's a little tomato. I don't know. Oh. He changed it to a scuba gear. So cute. Look at that. <laughs> he pop. He's. Oh, cute. I guess that enemy, the fire enemy, couldn't handle it in the water, so. Oh, that was actually a kick. Nice. I gotta work on that. Okay, so we're gonna try and, uh, I think we might be shooting for a full clear here. But, uh, we'll see how that goes. Bomb rally, okay. Okay, this is actually one of the mini games that you can play in the menu. 
I wonder what you get if you win. Oops. Well, I guess we won't know now. Uh, and that was that. I lost. And you could never play again. Okay, that thing is invincible. You can't kill it. I like the um, the background artwork. They look very um, kind of watercolory. Okay, you can't move while you're breathing fire. So, oh, we can't just spam stuff. Or you can. But it's dangerous. It might be stronger. Wait. I think this is a one one time thing here. Boom. Pretty cool, but uh now we don't have any power. Okay, we got it back. Okay. Oh, I just love the colorful backgrounds here. So is this a cave? Or oh, there's trees? I can't really tell, but... Okay. Let's get some health. <laughs> okay, so the first few levels... They don't give you all the best powers. Ooh, I like the sword. Let's try and get it. Nice. Okay, you could do like a Kuimbu thing where you jump and, and I think you'll do a combo. Is it? Okay, this might be the end of the stage. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> What did we win? A one up. Nice. Okay, so I know that there are secret areas that you could expose. But I don't know what the door looks like. It looks different if you didn't clear everything. So I guess as we progress, we'll figure it out. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye to you two. And you three. Oh no! Ah! There we go. <laughs> Close. Oh, and you could still fly. Alright, you could always still fly. Ah! I lost my sword. And these guys don't do anything. <laughs> All right, we'll get something. Ooh, I like the fireball. There we go. I like this. Even the tail end could do damage. You just have to be careful because it is kind of a melee attack. You could get yourself hurt if you're not careful. But my fire is better. I love the fluid motion of this, like look, look at the animation of how he swims, very fluid. Nice, good job Nintendo. <laughs> Ow! Oh sh! That was a cheap trick. Just blasted me when I, as soon as I came out of the door. Okay, there we go. Got it back. And...
Uh oh. Whatever, let's just continue on. Okay, that's gonna be a little bit dangerous. Up. Oh. But oh, we survived. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Points. Not important at all in this game. Okay, so... I think this is what it looks like when it's clear. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's continue. Hmm. I like the cutter. Ah, uh, the range isn't that great. Actually, let's try and get the freeze power. Ah, we lost it. Okay. I like these little cards that come up in the bottom left corner when you get a power. Uh-oh. Oh, that's... It's kind of like a boomerang, so if you just jump... You could throw it behind yourself. Oh, that was bad. Beep. Okay. Sometimes just having the vacuum power is better. Because you can just clear out things that are in your way. And it has like a nice range in front of you. Is that a secret? There are some secret doors spread out through this game. What's this? Needle. Ooh, that looks impressive, but it's really not. It's not so great. Because you can't move while you have it. Hmm. I'm invis invincible now. Little lollipops. Okay. Let's get that. Okay. Nice. Pow. There we go. Alright. Still just points. Oh, we have a boss stage. Okay. Oh, what's this? You copy abilities for free. Oh, so you can come back and get a copy ability. It's a good way to get a specific a specific ability if you dropped it or something so you could just come come back to the different levels where there are these little copy ability museums and you could just grab the ability and now we're up to a boss let's go for it it's the tree let's cut away really you could just Spam him with the sword, and he's done. Okay, so we got a piece of the dream rod. Ta-da! That's level one complete.
Okay. All these, you know, these cute little animations in the beginning of each stage, so. So this is gonna have some water here. Anyway, I think we're up to a good stopping point. So, uh, thanks for joining, and we'll continue on next time. Have a good night.